Good morning, and thank you for tuning in this morning to Hammond Grove Word Power Ministry Service. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us go before the throne. The Lord, our gracious God, we thank you, Lord, for being an awesome and a great God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that no matter how it looks, we know and we realize that you are still in control. We thank you, Lord, that you shed your blood on Calvary for us, that blood that gives us power, that blood that reaches from to the lowest valley to the highest mountain. God, we pray, Lord, a special prayer this morning for everyone that is tuned in, for all the families, God. We pray for our church family, God. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to wait to connect. God, we thank you for those, and we ask that you would bless those that are sick and in the hospital. God, we pray that you would bless those, Lord, that, that are suffering from diseases like a, a, a pandemic. We pray, Lord, that for the families and for racial injustice and prejudice and, and racial unrest, God. For we know, God, that you are still in control. We love you and we forever give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, and let everyone say amen. Come on, let's give God some praise in this house this morning. For he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Come on, and let's turn that pressure, turn that pressure into praise. Hallelujah.
to get to. You turn it into praise and let God handle it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we praise him. We're going to lift him up and worship him right now. Because he's welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you. Because you're so good.
just something about Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. There's a word from heaven today. Hallelujah. You ought to get happy. Amen. Amen. Anything that comes from heaven ought to make us rejoice. Oh, yes. Give God some praise. Yes, I want to call your attention this morning. Yes, as we come to you and we're just grateful to God, giving honor to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for another Sunday, another time to come to you, to give you a word from the Lord. Turn with me today to a very familiar passage of scripture. A very familiar passage of scripture. John, the third chapter and the 16th verse. We call it John 3.16. Yes. I remember this verse when I was a kid in school. John 3.16, I remember John 3.16, going to Sunday school, being in Sunday school and hearing the teacher teach. Had to remember, memorize John 3.16. I want us to look at it today. Is Jesus speaking? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever, somebody say whosoever, whosoever. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want you to hear this now. I want you to listen with your heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want to speak today it's a very simple subject that I'll tag this message with, whosoever, whosoever. I, I, I want to talk about whosoever today. I, I want to speak to whosoever. Whosoever could be you. Whosoever, yeah, that's your name in this, in this text today, whosoever. Whosoever refers to me. Whosoever refers to you. Whosoever refers to anyone, anybody, anyone who desires, whosoever can be a drunkard, whosoever could be an addict, whosoever could be a liar, whosoever could be a backslider, whosoever could be one who wants to turn their life around. And I want to say today that, to you, speaking to you, whosoever, that in times that we're living in now, things that are happening, that disease is rampaging across the land and entering into that invisible enemy is entering into homes and, and attacking families and some are surviving, some are dying. It is time now to not focus on the, the curve as much as we so focus on our hearts. Think about your relationship that you have with God. Because we know that no man knows the time nor the hour that God will call us alone. 
You don't know what time. You know when you were born. You can tell me your birthday, but you can't tell me your death day. Nobody knows but the Lord. We don't know. We're here today, and we can be gone today. Whosoever, look at somebody and say whosoever. Whosoever could be uh, a drug lord, a drug dealer. Whosoever could be a robber, a prisoner. Whosoever could be a murderer. Whosoever could be young, could be old, could be rich. Whosoever can be poor. See, whosoever. Well, that's a very important uh, text today. That's a, uh, that one word is very inclusive. Whosoever. Whosoever. Amen. Jesus wanted to make sure that he, he didn't call out all names. He didn't call your name and my name that our parents gave us. But he gave us a name and it's whosoever. Whosoever could be educated or uneducated, whosoever. We're talking about someone that can be, they can have a PhD, a master's, a BS, amen, a GED, a THD. It doesn't matter. Whosoever can be a male, whosoever can be a female, whosoever can be homosexual, bisexual, gay, whosoever could be bad or good. Whosoever could be honorable or disruptable. Jesus said, I said, Jesus said, Jesus said, whosoever believeth in me, believeth in him, shall not perish. Whosoever that believeth in Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, yes, shall not perish. Now let's look at that. Whosoever believeth in him, believeth in him. What, what do we mean, believeth? That uh, believeth, E-T-H, believeth, T-H, believeth. That means continuous, believeth in him. To believe, now, is more than an intellectual argument that Jesus is God. Oh yes, every, anybody can say yes, Jesus is God. It's more than that. It's, it's, it, it means to put your trust and confidence in him that he and he alone can save you. Can't nobody save you but Jesus. I heard a song say, can't nobody do it like Jesus. Can I get a witness? Oh no, he's mine, he's mine. Can't nobody do it like Jesus. It, it, to, 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 to believe is uh, to put Jesus Christ, to put Christ in charge of our present plans and eternal destiny. He said, believe it in him. Believe it. You want more. You want more. Believe it. Believe it is both now. It's both trusting, trusting his words that they are reliable and relying on him for the power to change. Only God can give you the power to change. Acts 1 and 8 says you shall receive what? Power. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Hallelujah. Believe it in him. Believe it in him. Let's look at it a little closer. Believe it in him. Romans 10 and 9. 10, 9 and 10 says, If thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall, there it is, believe in what? Thine heart. Believe what? That God has raised him from the dead and raised Jesus from the dead. It says, Thou shalt be saved. I don't see anything else in here that you got to run, you got to do this, and you got to say this. I don't, I don't see anything else right here. It says this is the recipe to be saved. For with the heart, it says that man, with the heart, man believeth unto, as the word, righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made what, unto salvation. Believe, 
my brothers and sisters, believe, I'm talking to whosoever, believe and you shall receive. Yes, whosoever believeth in him, whosoever believeth in him. Now, and, and the scripture says, whosoever believeth in him, uh, what, shall not perish. Hey, let, let's exegesis this. Shall not perish. What does that mean? What it means to perish, perish, uh, to the, means destroy, to ruin, uh, to cast uh, into the lake of fire. Perish. Yes. I mean, you've heard the word perish and uh, someone that house was, died in a house fire and the news reporter said they perish in the flame. Perish. What is perish? Webster said perish is to become uh, destroyed or ruined. Perish means cease to exist. So it says shall not perish, shall not cease to exist. Whosoever believeth in him shall not cease, shall not, uh, shall whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Yes. Now, perish. Perish is to die in our sins. Perish is uh, is to die without the Savior, without the Savior's glory present to cheer, cheer us into the valley of the shadow of death. Perish. Perish is to turn away. Turn away from what? Turn away uh, from the shut door of uh, our, our Father's mercy, to turn away from God, want to grant you mercy, to turn away from Him because. Uh, like the foolish virgins, yes, yes, perish. They, 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 they were not ready. And somebody today, somebody today is not ready. The foolish virgins were not ready when the bridegroom come. You got to be ready when the bridegroom come, because you don't know whether it's going to be morning. You don't know whether it's going to be noon. Oh, talk to me, somebody. Uh, you don't know whether it's going to be night, but the bride. Who came and what they somebody didn't have all for their vessels. They wasn't ready to go out and meet the bridegroom. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Amen. Uh, you got to be prepared to meet the Lord. Whenever he comes, whatever he does, we want to be ready. So you'll need to look at somebody and tell them, look at them, don't look at somebody, look at whosoever. Look at whosoever and say, say, get ready, get ready. Come on, tell them, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, get ready. Hallelujah. Yes, I should have a little drum roll over there. Get ready. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, to perish. To perish. Let me give you just a little bit more. To perish is to lose the smile of God. Mm. To lose the smile of God. Of God, no nobody, nobody that knows that they go into hell is going to be smiling. Can I get a witness? And I want you to know there is a heaven and there's a hell. A amen, amen. I, I, I want you, I want you to remember. I want you to know. I heard someone say the other day, but uh, I, you know, I, I believe in God, but I just don't believe in all this church culture. I don't believe in church culture. I don't believe in all, all of that, you know, what the, it, it, the Bible says, and you interpret this like you want to and all of this. That I, I don't believe in all that, but I believe God. That's a lost person on their way to hell. Can I get a witness? Yeah, to perish is to lose the smile of God. To perish is to, to, to lose the company of the redeemed. To lose the society of angels. To lose the glories of the heavenly world. To perish. To perish. Yes. Is to lose hope. Yes. Yes. No ray of comfort. To perish is to be driven away into the outer darkness, into the into misery without deliverance and without end. Yes. Yes. The rich man died and he perished. Yes. 
Yes, Webster, I like what Webster said, to perish, or to leave that with you, mean to destroy and cease to exist. So, whosoever believeth in me shall not perish. Yes, yes, I shall not perish. So then it says then what? Whosoever believeth in me shall not perish. Whosoever, whosoever, I'm still talking to you, believeth in him shall not perish. That's the 16th verse. But, what? Have what? Come on, you ought to say it. Have everlasting life. Have everlasting life. How long is everlasting? Have eternal life. How long is eternal? Yes. Well, have everlasting life. And that means that uh, everlasting is to live with Jesus in heaven. How many want to live with Jesus in heaven? How many? Come on. How many want to live with Jesus? I know. I do. Yes. 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 Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Eternal life. And I, I don't know about you today, but I'm concerned that we all should get a little closer to God. I'm very concerned when I look at the world that we're so busy doing this and that. But we're saying less about Jesus. We're saying less about God. And we are tuning in, are coming less to prayer meetings, coming into the unity, being into the unity of the church in prayer. So I thank God for, I thank God for this text. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. See, that's a guarantee. Yes, everlasting life is a guarantee that you will live, how long? Forever. So why, why should someone want a guarantee? It's a guarantee. Yes, Jesus died upon the cross, shed his blood. Amen. On the cross, God's only begotten son died for you and died for me. Uh, and, and that was a guarantee. Give us a guarantee that we will live with him in heaven. Yes. Everlasting life, eternal life, is where there is no death. Eternal, everlasting life is, is there is no more sickness. Everlasting life is no more enemy. Everlasting life is no more sin. Everlasting life is uh, living, as I said, with our Lord and Savior forever. Yes. So everlasting life refers to Resurrection and heavenly existence in perfect glory and holiness. It's everlasting life. This life I'm talking about for the believers in the Lord Jesus Christ is experience, it's a life experience before we get to heaven. We experience this everlasting life. You know when God saved you. Am I right about it? Yes, you know when God came into your life. You know, you know when you were born again. If you were born again, there's no doubt in my mind that you know that you became a new creature. Yes, this life, this life, this life, it is the life of God in every believer. Yet not fully manifested until the resurrection. Oh yes, to Jesus come back. And we be resurrected. Yes, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that uh, my name is in this text. Whosoever. I may not be mentioned in the newspaper, the Augusta Chronicle. I may not be uh, listed in. Uh, Life or time 
magazine. My picture may not be on the front cover. I may not be mentioned at BET Awards. May not be nominated for the Stella or a Grammy. I may not be talked about on ET, but one thing, one thing that I know, that this included me. I am beyond all questions this morning that under the shadow of whosoever, that uh, I am included. I wonder do we have today any whosoever listening to me today? Yes, whosoever. Whosoever believe in Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have Jesus. Can I get a witness? I'd rather I have Jesus uh, in my heart. I, uh, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I, uh, I'd rather have Jesus, uh, the one who said, uh, Come unto me, uh, all, all, uh, all ye that labor. Come unto me, uh, all ye that labor and heavy laden. Uh, and I, 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 I'll give, uh, I will give you rest. Uh, somebody may be tired this morning. Uh, yeah, tired, uh, tired of being sheltered again. Uh, But I heard the Lord said, uh, yes, uh, call on me, uh, and come unto me, uh, and all ye that are uh, heavy burden, uh, and I will, uh, oh, I will, uh, the Lord will, uh, he will give you rest, uh, yes, uh, who is that said, come unto me, uh, his name. church, but not in the church. You know. 
He's calling you today. He said, if you believe, yes, in Jesus, that Jesus died for, died and rose again, he said, thou shall be saved, whosoever. If you're listening to me right now, if I'm going to live in danger, I would rather live in danger with Jesus than to live in danger without Jesus. I'd rather be on the boat. If the boat is sinking, I'd rather be on the boat with Jesus than to be on the boat without Jesus. And that's you today. God is calling you. He wants you. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would hear my voice and open up, let me come in. Let me come in. I'll come in and have fellowship with him. You may not be able to fellowship with your friends and with relatives like you want to, but he said, I'll come in if you let me open the door. I'll come in and have fellowship with you. And that's you. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Oh, I want to make sure that everybody that's listening this morning is saved. Everybody in your house is saved. Every one of your children are saved. Pray this prayer. God, come into my life. I believe that Jesus died and rose again. I realize that I have sinned and come short of your glory. God, forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I want to change my life. I, I want my life to be changed with the Holy Spirit. That I live and I want to live for you forever. Thank you, God, for letting me recognize that my name is whosoever that you call me today. I believe that Jesus died and rose again. Save me right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, right now, I pray that for somebody's son or daughter that is not saved. Touch them right now. Mother, Father, pray that prayer. Save my child right now. Let the Holy Spirit touch them. Build a hedge of thorns around them that they won't enjoy what they're doing if it's not about you. Lord, bring a wandering child on home. And Lord, Father God, I pray that you just have them to believe. Oh, Father, touch them. Touch their hearts that they give their life to you. Now, I said, if you pray that prayer, Day, God have honored that prayer. God is going to do something miraculous. He's already done something miraculous in your life when you ask Him to forgive you. That whosoever that was lost now, God has saved you. Oh, give God some praise for that. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Now, if you prayed that prayer, you have the opportunity. The next thing you need to do is you need to unite with the church. Unite with the church. And we welcome you here at Heaven Grow Word Power Ministry. You can call us. You can call us at 803-279-1493. Again, call 803-279-1493. And leave a message. If no one answer, leave a message and we will welcome you, get back with you. You need to become a part of a church, a member of a church. You need to be baptized like Jesus was baptized. When a person becomes in Christ, they becomes a new creature. Old things pass away and behold, all things become new. Thank you this morning for listening to us. And also you can. Help us by sending your gift to Heaven Grove to that address, 214 West 5, 
Notch Road, North Augusta, South Carolina, 298 Or you can give on the fire. We appreciate whatever you do in the building of God's kingdom. Again, until the next time, have a great day.